Hello and welcome back. This is Greg French. Today we're going to look at Cisco Router Basics Static Routes. Uh, this is a network we've used before with the gateway of last resort, but we're going to use the same same setup, uh, but this time we're going to set static routes. I'm going to go through uh, the configuration of the complete network. We've got two PCs, one on either end, PC0, PC1. We have two switches, uh, switch 0 and switch 1, and then two routers router 0 and then router 1. Uh, looking at that first PC, PC0, we're going to go ahead and configure it for IP version 4 and we're using static and we're going to set the IP address of 5.0.0.2 on this network of 5.0.0.0. We have three networks here. We've got this first network between PC0 and the router. Our second network, 10.0.0.0 uh, .0 between the two routers on a serial line. And then we have a third network between the router 1 and PC1, and that's the network 15.0.0.0. Again, back to this IP configuration for PC0, we're using address 5.0.0.2. We're reserving 5.0.0.1 for the router. Normally, our gateways usually are reserved with that first IP address in that network. Uh, subnet mask, uh, it's against class A, so it's 255.0.0.0. And our default gateway, 5.0.0.1. And again, that is that port uh, for the router which the PC is connected to. So all its traffic, all its IP or packet traffic is going to go to that port on that first router. Uh, next, we've got, uh, oh, we're going to try to ping. Here we haven't set our static route yet. And if we ping our PC on the far side, which is set at... Uh, 15.0.0.2. We'll notice that our ping is not successful. We get these time uh, request timeouts, so we're not getting any return. We have four lost or 100% loss. That's because we haven't yet uh, set the static routes uh, in these two routers, and we'll do that. Uh, we also need to set the uh, ports uh, FA0/0 and the serial port 0/1/0. Uh, the FA is the one that's connected to our PC. That's our fast Ethernet route. You can see we have that set uh, with 5.0.0.1, again with class A subnet mask at 255.0.0.0. And then we turn this on, or we give a no shutdown command. Our next uh, fast Ethernet, you can see it is shut down and it's not uh, configured. And the last one here is our serial. And again, that's the serial on the side of the router here connected to the other router and 0 slash 1 slash 0 and we have an IP address configured on that uh, for 10.0.0.1 and 255 for the subnet mass.0.0.0 .0 and again this is network 10.0.0.0 uh, .0 .0 and it's the network that is connecting the two routers together. So our first IP address will set for that first router on its serial port. Uh, next we're going to look at uh, router 1 or the second router and again, we have a serial interface connecting uh, the two routers together, and its serial face is also 0 slash 1 slash 0, but we're, we're putting IP address 2 on this, or 10.0.0.2. Again, same subnet mask, 255.0.0.0. You can see on here we have a clock rate set. This clock rate is looks like 2 million, and uh, anytime you set up a serial uh, connection between two routers. We have what's called a DTE port and a DCE port. DTE is data terminal equipment and DCE is data circuit termination equipment. And the DCE is normally a uh, port that has the clock. Uh, the other one doesn't need it. It'll follow whatever that clock rate is. And if you notice up here in the diagram, there's a little clock symbol showing that this is the DCE side or the clock side. So we've got both routers configured now for their ports. The next we need to uh, go ahead and use our command line interface and set the static route command. Now the static route for the first router or the router zero is going to be in the, we're going to use the IP route command in the, in the uh, router config and it's going to be 15.0.0.0 and that is this network over here. So this router number zero cannot see uh, this network. So if it was to send its packets, uh, it, or if the PC was to send packets to this router with this network, this router would have no idea what to do with it because it cannot see this network over here. So we put in the static route. We tell the router, 
if you get packets uh, to, on this network, 15.0.0, with a subnet mask of 255.0.0.0, send it to this IP address, which is 10.0.0.2, which is the connection to that second router. So any packets uh, going to uh, network 15, Coming from this PC, we'll go to this router. This router will have this static route, and it'll tell the router, okay, I've got to send all my traffic to network 15 to the port on the next router. And that router will know what to do with it because he's connected to it. So that's all static routes are telling the, the routers is where to send the traffic and which port to move it to. So router 0 is going to be, be moving all its traffic that is destined for network 15 to the port connected to the next router and that router since it's already connected to that uh, to that network it'll know how it'll know to forward it so we need to do the same thing on this router router 1 going back uh, to network uh, 5.0.0 we need to tell it hey we need to send any traffic bound for this network to this router support and this router will know what to do with it so for configuring router 1 we put in the command IP route 5.0.0.0255.0.0.0 and then we put in that port 10.0.0.1 which is that first port uh, connected to the next router so any traffic coming from PC1 destined for network 5.0.0.0 will go to this router's port 10.0.0.1 and that router since it's connected to it will know where to forward that traffic so we've got both uh, static ports or static routes set for both routers. The ports are configured. All we need to do is set up this last PC and it's going to be configured for IP version 4. It's going to be static. We'll have 15.0.0.2 set for the IP address, subnet mask 255.0.0 and the IP or the get gateway for this router or this PC is going to be 15.0.0.1 and that is the gateway or that first port on that router which the PC is connected to. So it'll take all its traffic, all its IP traffic, and move it to this port. This router will forward it to the next router if it's destined for network 5000 or 5.0.0.0. And then that router will send it to that PC. Uh, to make sure this works, we need to do a ping. So we're going to ping uh, ping. We're going to actually ping from this router. We're going to ping 15.0.0.2, and you can see it's successful. Uh, successful, and uh, we didn't lose any traffic, and uh, all packets are received and and uh, and returned. Well, that's it for now. Uh, I want to thank you very much for watching, and uh, we'll be making some more of these. Thanks again. <clears throat>